It's likely that she's gonna stir a little bit tonight and we're gonna have to deal with that. We're gonna have to deal with that. We're gonna have to deal with that. Okay, it's been six hours. It's some, some time in the morning and uh, we just had our first peep, although she's being quiet now, so I probably should let her out. Oh, there we go, it's okay, girl. Outside we go. Good girl, hurry up. Hurry up, good job, well done. So we had a pee. It's 7.17 in the morning and what's really important is that if you are like me and this is not time for you to get up, that you don't have a party and do play now. So she's had a pee. We're gonna go back to bed for just a little while, see if we can get her to settle. And then we're gonna get up and start our day. Good morning. It is now 8.30 a.m. And uh, Little Miss did so good last night. We only had to get up one time. We like that. Good girl. Now, I think that has a lot to do with uh, the type of day that we had yesterday. We had so much fun. She was super busy that it allowed her to really get a good night's sleep. Now, if you want to see what we did with her very first day home, I definitely encourage you to check out the first uh, video of our series. And the link for that is in the description below. Oh, good morning to you. Now, the first thing that we need to do is take her out for a pee. But today, you're gonna hang out with me throughout the day and I'm gonna show you guys how to balance your day with your puppy through training, play, how to get your own work done so that you have the most successful day possible and then hopefully we have a puppy that sleeps through the night once again. I'm Kale McCann, this is Baby Euchre. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. Okay, I'm gonna start off with just doing a little bit of basic luring. And I actually did this a little bit yesterday when we first brought her home, but she hasn't even been home for 24 hours yet. And yesterday she really had a hard time tracking the food. Today already, this is just literally the second time I've done this, she's like so much better. So already we're learning, good girl. Oh, and we offered a little sit. Again, yesterday I just played around a little bit with a bit of luring with her. Good girl, yes, good girl. That's it, good. And all of this stuff is literally just to condition her to prepare her for her training. Now, the other thing I like to do when I first get puppies home is just work on rewarding her for following me. Pop, 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 pop. Yes, you can use some cute little noises to get them moving. Pop, 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 pop. Yes, good girl. <laughs> she says, what do you want from me, lady? Pop, 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 pop. Come on right in here. Good girl. Yay. Yay, good girl. Now you'll notice I'm not really using her name yet. My, my food bowl's gone now. Um, I notice I'm not really using her name yet because I don't really want to chance her not responding. So I'm just gonna work on getting her to, perfect, thank you. Uh, just gonna get her working on following me around and being rewarded. Once I have a little bit more focus, I could start to add the name back into it. What's this? You girl. Yes, good girl. One of the biggest mistakes that uh, new puppy owners make is they're so excited about their new puppy, yes, good girl, so um, excited about their new puppy having a name that they end up saying the name over and over and over again. And then you're, it's sort of essentially teaching your puppy that their name doesn't matter. So I'm only gonna use her name in a scenario where I can back it up with rewards in the first little bit. You girl. Yes, good girl. Good girl. We haven't even done the homework yet where I've taught her what yes means. I'm just sort of associating it. Yes, good girl. She's gonna figure out pretty quickly that yes means good rewards are coming, but I can deliberately teach her what the word yes is by doing a little word association game. Good girl. Yes. And then V. Yes. And then V. Yes. And then V. Yes. And then V. You can see she's like, okay, I'm into this game. This is pretty easy. Yes. Good girl, and fee. And when I do this, she happens to be sitting, which is great. Oops, I'm gonna get her off me here. She happens to be sitting, which was great, um, but she doesn't need to be. She just needs to be engaged, and that's all she's doing now. Yes, good girly, yes, good, yes, excellent. 
So we've just done a few little things. I'm gonna do something now just a little bit more active and I'm gonna make sure I leave some stuff in the bowl. Oh yes, good girl! I'm gonna leave some stuff in the bowl so that I can also use the food as an opportunity to get more uh, reward and positivity associated with her kennel. So she'll eat the rest of her meal in her crate. So I'm gonna give her the rest of her breakfast. I've added a little bit of water. Now you'll notice I have another crate over here. She's gonna be moved into that one eventually, but she's a little bit too small for that crate. I don't want her using one half as a you know potty area and the other half as a sleeping area. So I'm gonna see if I can get her to go into this crate willingly. And if not, I'm just gonna place her in it. That's something that I will be training in the next couple days. What's this, ready? Now she just slept in there all night. So she may or may not want to go in. Oh, the door almost shut on you. Okay, she's not too sure, so I'm just gonna put her in. Good girl, we're gonna go have your breakfast. And uh, hopefully you're gonna see without, throughout the series how this is gonna change. What will start to happen is when I get her breakfast ready, she will eventually start to just run in on her own. But this is only day one. Good girl, here you go. Yeah, no, 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 you're staying in there. Stay in there and eat your breakfast. I'm just gonna shut the door. Success. So, some of you may not be able to hear me, and others, you may recognize this sound, and this is where a lot of pet puppy owners, new pet owners, they start to get a little bit nervous, or feel a little sad, or feel a little guilty, because she's in the, the crate screaming. But I know she's had a pee, she's had training, she's had a play, she's had breakfast, all of her needs have been met. She just doesn't want to be in there. So I'm just going to let her cry it out for a little bit. It's only her first day home. I'm not going to discipline it at this point. I'm going to continue making my breakfast and I'm going to pretend that there's nothing going on. And when she settles, I will let her out and see if she has to go to the washroom. But for now, this is just the really hard part of crate training. So you may have seen this in some of our past videos, but this is probably one of our favorite puppy exercises to do. This hallway has trained many puppies with us. And uh, one of our favorite things to do is some uh, little recent recalls to start teaching her her name or even a hear her hear command. So I've given uh, Ken a little handful of her breakfast. I have a little handful of her breakfast as well. And we're just gonna sit on either ends of the hallway and we're gonna call back and forth tire her out a little bit and have a really fun way of teaching her about coming to us. Good girl, you're gonna get so much faster at this. <laughs> Good girl. So when she eats the food, I have food here, I'm just gonna hide it away. I'm just gonna turn her around. Ken's gonna try and get her attention. Ready, set, Yuki, yay! What a good girl. Nice job, yes, pal. Good girly. Good job, all right. Okay, and then we'll turn her around. Here, Phoebe. We'll turn her around and we'll do it again. Ready? Yuka, ready, 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 set, Yuka! Here, 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 here. Oh, she's an old pro already. And you can Good really girl. see the dogs pick up the pace, really yes. get excited about hearing their name when you do exercises yeah. like this. This is a gr this is just such a great way to reinforce yes. the value of coming to their Good name. Girl. It's also really important when you do this, see how close we're feeding her? I'm letting her come right in. Okay, we're gonna pull okay. Ready, set, Yuka! Now, we didn't make a big deal when she didn't respond the first time. Now, this is, I mean, the first time we've ever done this exercise with her. But the one thing I want, I wouldn't do is call her name over and over again. Uh, the next time I need to make sure that I have a little bit more focus before I call her name and uh, when Kale releases her. Let's try this again. Ready? Yuka! Yes! Good girl! We can also sneak that little puppy sound recall in there ahead of time since that's something that she's kind of familiar with already because her breeder did that when they were feeding. Good girl. Wow, Missy Moo. Come on, Ken. Give okay, your best pup pup. Race. Pup 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 pup. pup, pup. You can. Yay. 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 Wow, look at that enthusiasm. Here, oh, you So again, we're giving the puppy some crate time. She was just uh, screaming about two seconds ago. And um, it, what's interesting is from the time it took us to turn the camera on versus now, she's already starting to settle. And this is what's gonna start to happen as the days go on. She's going to start to get better. Now, eventually we're not going to allow her to carry on like this, but this is still such a new learning process for her that we're just kind of letting her figure it out. 
Again, she's just had training. She just went on like a little walk around the outside of our property. She's, you know, had a little play. There's no reason for her to make noise except for the fact that she just doesn't want to be in the crate. Um, but again, once she settles, it's a great opportunity for her just to go in there and nap and learn that that's her place to kind of chill out. It's just like kids, sometimes puppies get overtired, they get overstimulated, and then they're like kind of crabby for a little bit and then they sort of settle and she's literally almost asleep now. So you just have to persevere and um, it, it gets better much faster than you really realize. You just have to use the crate and not worry about the screaming. Hi lady, come on out. Whoop, come on out, good. Good girl. So I just got back from, uh, I was away for about a couple hours and I had to go get groceries. And um, before I left, I put her in her crate. Ken was working and he was just sort of keeping an eye on her. But because we did so much training and stuff before earlier in the morning, she literally slept this whole time. And I think that's an important thing to note because I think a lot of people think puppies need all of this free time to roam around. But really what we want you to do is spend more um, focused time with your puppy that actually tires them out and also encourages them to get, learn the right things. And uh, she was more than, you actually seem a little sleepy still. Um, <clears throat> she was more than happy just to, you know, conk out for a couple hours while I was gone. Um, so now anyways, I'm gonna get her up and get her moving again. We have to feed her some lunch. So I'm gonna take this as another opportunity to do some training with her. Let's go outside, babe. So as I'm putting the groceries away, I decided that I'm just gonna let her hang out uh, here. But um, I'm you know, choosing some very specific management tools here. One, she has a, a leash or a line on here, this weird little leash, so she can't really go anywhere. And I've also given her a bone to chew. Now, one thing that I'm really impressed about is that she's actually choosing to chew the bone near me as I do this. I think that's a really, really great thing. I also know that that's not something that she'll naturally do forever. Puppies tend to start to get a bit more independent, but I keep reaching down and telling her she's a good girl. I keep reinforcing her. If she was to get up and like go and do her own thing, I wouldn't allow her to do that. I would stop her with the line. I don't wanna be in here busy doing groceries and have her sneak off and have an accident or chew something. So if I'm going to choose to let her be free out of her crate and just sort of hang out, it's going to be very supervised. So I am multitasking here. Groceries are coming out, but you know, I'm, I'm mostly looking at, after, um, after the puppy, <laughs> making good choices. There you go, babe. Yes, good girl. So it's lunchtime, and uh, I thought I would take an opportunity. I am gonna feed some of this in, of this food. I mean, she's very excited in her crate. Um, but I just wanna actually work on teaching her how to go into the crate. Now, sometimes I'm just gonna put her in, but I am gonna take a little bit of time to teach her. Now, so that the door doesn't scare her at all, I've just removed it. And I'm just gonna start off by taking some food and just feeding her with like her little head in the uh, crate. Oh, some dropped in. Let's see if I can put a couple in the inside that she'll eat. Here, look. Good. And then I'm going to progressively get the food further in until she takes a little step. Oh, good girl. Yes. But I'm just going to let her come out. I'm not going to push her in. Good girl. Yes. When she comes out, though, I'm not going to feed. I'm going to keep the food. Oh, there it is. Use your sniffer. Here. There we go. There we go, good girl. I'm not gonna feed her out of the crate. All of the reward is gonna be in the crate. Good girl. It's so tempting just to push that last foot in there, but you don't wanna do that. You're just gonna be patient. Yes, there we go. Now what I could also do is like implement a higher value reward at this point if I wanted to, like when her, all of her four feet go in, I could throw some cheese in there, but she's pretty into the kibble, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Now, what you'll notice that I did on the last repetition, yes, yeah, she's still in there, good girl, is just as she was coming out of the crate, I said, okay, I gave her release command. Eventually, she's gonna need to learn that she's gotta stay in the crate until I give her permission to come out. Um, so I can actually start showing her about that now by saying, okay, before she actually comes out of the crate herself. So she's choosing to come out of the crate, but I'm just starting to, um, you know, implement that release, okay. Yes, just means you have to have really good timing. Good girl. So I would only practice this a couple more times. I might go and do some other training as well before she gets too full. And then I'll feed her the remainder of her crate 
in the crate with the crate door closed um, with a bit of water on the on the food hi babe um just to get get her accustomed there now she's going in so much more easily um just to get her accustomed to it and at that moment i would just place her gently into the crate i don't need to go through this whole rigmarole every single time unless she's going to start to go in a little bit more easily but i can't expect that to happen after one training session good girl i would say this is pretty successful for the first try ever though I think it's also important to remember that the whole day with your puppy doesn't need to be so action packed. It's really good to get training in there. It's good to get, you know, um, play, th play sessions in that's gonna tire the puppy out. But you also need like <clears throat> time to snuggle and time just to teach them just to kind of hang out. She's got a little bone here, one of the adult bones. And uh, she thinks it's pretty cool. Have her little line on, she'll let her hang out. I'm sitting here checking my phone and just sort of spending a little time together. Um, if she passes out, then I'm gonna go pop her in the crate and get some more work done. This puppy's been home for just about 24 hours at this point, and she's making some really good choices. Part of the reason behind that, though, is that she's getting good information and a lot of management. And uh, in this series, you're gonna see her continue to develop over the next couple months. We're gonna speed up this puppy's training by managing her well throughout the day. And a good example of that is what we did earlier tonight for her supper. Rather than just feeding her the supper, I used it to start teaching her to do things like go and lie calmly on a bed. This is gonna be really helpful for when we eat dinner or when people come over. She's already on the first day learning that going and lying on the bed is something that can be really rewarding. Now you can see she's still got a bundle of energy right now. So the next thing that we're gonna do before we tire her out and, and get her ready for bed so we're going to practice some recalls and some retrieving down the hallway it's a great way to kind of get that excess energy out so by the time we're ready to take her up to her crate for the night she's got all that energy out and uh, she's much more likely to sleep through the night for us we specifically chose to work on exercises that we know are going to help us to control her a little bit more easily down the road. Things like teaching her to respond to her name, which is gonna be really helpful for getting her attention. Teaching her the word yes, which is the foundation for everything we're basically gonna teach her. Getting her comfortable with the crate right away, which is gonna be a godsend when we are trying to navigate through the next couple weeks of this crazy puppy time. Um, but what's really important is that you don't wait to start this training with your puppy. You wanna get going with it right away way. All of this physical work and mental work is really going to help um, calm your puppy to tire them out and their brains are fully developed by the time they are seven weeks old. They are ready to learn and we need to make sure that we're jam packing as much good information in there now as we can uh, to ensure success in the long run. Now, you know what we didn't do today? We didn't have to clean up any accidents and we didn't have to use any of this stuff. Oh, you'd like to bite that, wouldn't you? Now, the reasons why we were having so much success with our house training today is because we managed her really well. We were able to anticipate any possible times where she may have had to go to the washroom, such as after eating, naps, and a really important one is after any big plays. All that exercise often causes them to have to go to the bathroom. So if you can predict those things and make sure that you you're staying ahead of it, you're gonna find that you can actually get through a large part of puppyhood without having any accidents in the house. Now she has had a very long and tiring day. Quite honestly, so have we. We are all ready for bed at this point. Now, if you'd like to watch the next video in this series, make sure you click that card right there. And if you'd like to watch the video of the day we brought her home, click that card right here. On that note, I'm Kale. This is Baby Euchre. Happy training.